Hello students, welcome back to the new videos. Uh, today we will be studying the, uh, on the same topic that is algebraic expressions. Here we will, dis uh, as I told you in the previous video lectures or so, we will be discussing about the operations of the algebraic expressions. So in this video we will only cover up the additions of the algebraic expressions. In the next video we will discuss, uh, discuss about the subtractions of algebraic expressions. Okay, so you see we have discussed the algebraic expression uh, in the previous video that only the like terms, constant uh, terms, okay. So we have also discussed the coefficients and many more topics, binomials, monomials, trinomials, polynomials, okay. So we have discussed many more topics in the previous two video lectures. So if you are clear about the previous two video lectures, this, from this videos, your concept, your concept may be more clear. And I would say one thing is that mathematics is based on this video lectures, based on these topics only. You have to be very clear about these uh, additions and subtractions of the algebraic expression. And if you are very, if you are clear about these additions and subtractions of the algebraic expressions, I would say one thing: you are clear about the mathematics. Okay, so we have to be very clear about the mathematics. That is as additions of the algebraic expressions. Okay. So today we'll discuss about the additions. Additions of algebraic additions of algebraic expressions. Additions of algebraic expressions. We have to discuss additions of algebraic expression. You see in the previous videos I have once uh, shared that algebraic expressions uh, only the like terms okay only the like terms can be go for additions and a subtraction operations if the terms is unlike if the terms are unlike term then we cannot go for uh, additions or subtraction if the terms is like terms okay only the like terms only the like terms those like terms okay can add or subtract can add or Subtract can go for additions and subtraction can go for additions and subtractions. Okay, that means that what is the like terms now? The like terms you have discussed is the like terms. The condition for the like terms is what if to be a like terms they should have same variables, the same variables and same degrees. Okay, the degree, the power of degree should be same. Okay, the exponents should be same. Okay. The, the like terms should have same variables and same degrees. Okay, and only the like terms can go for the addition operations. Only the like terms can go for the addition operations. Okay, clear about this one. Now let's go to the topic. Okay, let's go to the first questions of the exercise. What shall we do is that we will learn in the two, two method, one is called original method and the Coulomb methods. Okay, Coulomb method, original method, and Coulomb method. So, go with the chapter that is uh, exercise 6.3. The first question is number one, B number one. Okay, this is our first question. Add the following terms. We have to add all these terms. So what shall we do is the solution. Uh, so x squared plus 4x squared plus minus 7x squared. Okay, so this is what we can add up the equation. Now here you see they have a same variables. The first thing is that we are checking whether they have a same variable. They have a same variables. Okay. Next, they have a same power again. Okay. That means we can easily add up the equations. We can easily add up the equations. So what we do is that we'll rearrange this equation. 4x plus into minus 7. 7x seven squared. So first of all, we'll add up these two. In front of the numbers, we don't have anything. That means this is 1. Okay, so we will only add the coefficient. 4 plus 1 become 5x cubed. Okay, minus 7x cubed. So what the idea is that x cubed and x cubed are the same. So I will just, then I will only add or subtract the coefficient. That means numerical number. So x, 5x minus 7x, that become 5 minus 7 is 2. But 7 have minus sign, so it will become minus 2, then x squared will be repeating. So this is what we call, and uh, what this is how we do the addition. Clear about this one? Okay, so let's go to the next questions again. Okay, this is our next questions. Uh, so, 
try to add up solutions. So adding. So adding means you have to put a plus sign between the numbers, between the term plus 5x cures y plus minus 7x cures y. So here you see, let's check whether the variables are same or not. Here also we have x cure y. Here also we have x cure y. Here also we have x cure y. That means the variables are same. That means all the terms are like terms. That means we can easily add. The first thing we will add these two numbers. That is we will only add the coefficient. So x plus x cure plus y remains same. Okay. So we don't have anything out here. That means this is 1. For 5 plus 1 becomes 6. Plus and minus become minus 7x cure y. Again, I already told you we are going to add only the coefficient that means x cures y. 7 minus 6 is 1. Then we have a minus sign. Okay, then we have a minus sign which implies that minus x cures and y. 1 into this one we can remove minus also and we can write this one also. Or we can write this here, so both of the answers are correct. Okay, so here you see the only thing is that the coefficient, uh, the numerical, the variable remains same. Only we will add or we will add or subtract only that. We will add or subtract only whom? The coefficient, that is numerical numbers. Okay, 5 plus 1 becomes 6, then 6 plus 7 becomes 6 minus 7 become 1. Okay, so this is what we have to do. We have to add only the numerical values. Okay, so we'll do one more question. Okay, two more questions. Our next question is question number 5. That is 3a minus 4b and 5a plus 2b and minus 2a minus 3b okay so i'll try to do this in two different methods okay be clear with it okay first method is what the horizontal method okay the horizontal method we can easily this this one is what 3a plus minus minus sign is already there this is one term plus 5a plus 2b plus minus 2a minus 3b okay so this is how we write now what should I do is that I'll open up open up all the bracket 3a minus 4b plus 5a plus 2b plus and minus become minus 2a plus and minus become minus 3b okay so all the like variable that means like terms I will keep it together I will group it together that means like variable means what wherever there is an a all the a I will write it together why because they are all a like variables okay so I will write it this one and the same thing same together and the same group that is 5a 3a plus 5a minus 2b 2a minus 4b plus 2b minus 3b I will write it all this together okay so this one you see all if you see in the first part you will, you will see only there is a there is a a a a a they are all like terms. 3a, 5a, and minus 2a are like terms. I have grouped in together. Next, 4b, 2b, minus 4b, plus 2b, and minus 3b. They are like terms, so I have grouped it together. Okay, so what shall I do is next? So I will add up the numerical value. 5 plus 3 become 8. 8 minus 2 become 6. So this will become minus uh, plus 6a. 5 plus 3. 5 plus only numbers. Okay, only the numbers I will add. 5 plus 3 become 8, 8 minus 2 become 6, then 4 minus 2 become minus 2, 4 minus 2 become minus 2, minus 4 plus 2 become minus 2, and minus 3, that become minus 3, minus 3 become plus, minus 5, that means your answer is minus 5, so all of them they have a B, so that means I have to add here B also, so this is what our answers it is okay only the numerical number you should add only the numerical number you should add okay okay one more question okay this one we will do in the original method what shall it is that all right so this one i will write together here 3a minus 4b then i will write the next number that below plus 
2b. Then I will write the numbers below, that is minus 2a minus 3b. Okay, so wherever minus sign is there, we are not going to change because it is an addition. In additions, we don't change any sign. Okay, but when you talk about the subtraction, when we are going to do the subtraction, our sign will change. Okay, so we are not going to talk about subtraction now. Let's try to clear about the additions only. Okay, so whenever we are doing about additions, we will not change the sign. Okay, so all the A, A, A are written here together. So I will add the number 5 plus 3 become 8. 5 plus 3 become 8. So 8 minus 2 become my 8 plus 2 be, 8 minus 2 become 6. Then plus 4 minus 2 become plus minus 2. Minus 2 plus minus 3 become minus 5. This is your answers. We can also do in this way also. Okay. So next way, uh, next thing that I will have to do is the next question. That is question number 7. Okay, question number 7. We'll try to do the question number 7. So here this is our next question, question number 7. So we will do first in the original method. So what shall I do is that I will put the addition sign between the two numbers that is minus 5x, y squared, plus 7x, y squared, minus 4x, q y. Okay. So what shall I do is that wherever the like terms are there, I will do, uh, make it a grouping. You see, x q y. x, y squared. They are not like. That means it will be kept separately. I cannot add them. Then x square y. Okay, first of all, I will check what x squares and y. Okay, what is it? Wherever x squares and y is there, I will see. Here you see x is there, but I don't have a square. Y is there, but I have a square. That means I have to check only y. But here we have a square. That means this is not like x squares, x, y squared. That is also not like. Then remain is what? Minus 4x squared. x squared is there, y is here. That means what? This number and that number is the same. So I will write this one as a 3x squared y minus 4x squared y minus 5x y squared plus 7x y squared. Okay, so if I write this one, 4 minus 3 become minus 1, 1x one squared y, 5 minus plus 2 become plus 2x y squared. 5 plus 5 minus 2 become 6. The 5 minus four, uh, 7 minus 5 become 2. Let's know. The 7 is a plus, that means plus 2. X and Y is good. X and Y is good. They are same. That means we are doing the additions. Okay, this is how we do. Okay, so this is our answers. And the second method that we are going to do is what? The next method that we are going to do is what? 3X cure Y. Minus 5x y squared. So whenever we write this next question, we have to check whether the numbers are same so that we don't have to write directly here downside. Okay, all the like terms should be written in there in the same columns. Okay, so here you see 7 y squared is this. So we don't have y squared here, that means what? We have only minus 4 x squared y, that is 7, and plus 7 x y squared. It is similar with this one, so I am writing it together. Now, 4 minus 3 become minus 1, x square y. 7 minus, two, 7 minus 5 become plus 2, x, y square. So this is our answers. Okay, so this is our answers. I think you are clear about this one. Okay, so this is our question number 1. Let's try to do the question number 2. So let's try to solve this one. We are going to add this one, which is question number Okay, this is question number two. So here you see, first of all, we are trying to do with the column methods. That is a squares plus 2ab plus b squares plus a squares minus 2ab plus b squares plus a squares minus b squares. Okay, so this is how we are going to do. Now, what shall we do is that 
I will add wherever a square is there, I will group it together. A square this one, a square this one that is plus a square, then a square this one that is again plus a square. Then b square uh, plus 2ab anywhere is here, yes 2ab anymore minus 2ab. Then I will group b squares together, b squares plus b squares minus b squares. So what shall I do is that I will add up all these a squares and become 3 a squares. These and these two get cancelled, plus these and these two cancel become plus b squares. Okay, so plus b squares. So this is our answers, you see. So a plus a plus a, 3a is zero, that means 3a squares. These are same. So if you minus this, this will become zero. So I'm canceling it, these two. Plus b minus b square minus b square minus zero. So I'm canceling this thing. Our answer is, remain is 3a square plus b. Okay, okay, same method again. Same again, same question again. Do you win Coulomb method. Okay, so what shall I do is that a squares plus 2ab plus b squares. So similarly down there, I will write wherever a squares there, I will write this one minus 2ab plus b squares. Then I will write a squares here, then minus is here. So I don't have ab next to numbers on this, I have only minus b squares, so I will write below this one. So now I will erase this one. a plus a plus a, that means 3a squared is. 2a by plus 2a becomes 0. This will become 0. 2a minus 1 minus 1 minus 1, that means 1 plus 1 becomes 1. Okay. 1 plus 1 becomes 2. 2 plus minus, or 2 minus 1 becomes 1. Again, that means what? It will remain only, it will remain only b squares, 1b squares. So our answer is what? 3a squares plus b squares. Okay. So 2 plus, 2, or my, 2 minus 2 becomes 0. That means we are writing 0 here. 1 plus 1 become 2. 2 minus 1 become 1. Okay, so this is what we write. Okay, this is how we write the additions. Okay, so we will do one more, two more questions, uh, three more questions. Okay, number 5. x cubed minus x cubed plus 7. Minus 9x plus 10x cures. Minus 6. Again, 2x. 2x minus 3x cures minus 5. So what's the like is I will erase these equations again. So solution, x cubed minus x cubed plus 7 plus minus 9x plus 10x cubed minus 6 plus 2x minus 3x cubed minus 5. So these are all I have arranged. So what should I do is that very x cubed is there. No x cubed is there so it will remain alone. So minus x cubed. Where x cubed I will write it together. So this is minus x cubed. Ah, again? Yes. Minus 3x cubed again. Then we have uh, numbers, okay, then we have plus 9, 7, so 7 I will write at last, minus 9, so minus 9x, any more 9x, yes, plus 2x we have, then I will write 7, the constant numbers, constant numbers, plus 7, minus 6, minus 5, all the constant numbers I have written together, okay. So what I do is I will add up x cubed. We don't have any numbers, so x cubed will remain same. Ten minus uh, ten minus one become nine. Nine minus three becomes six. So plus six x cubed. Nine minus two becomes seven. Uh, seven minus seven. Nine minus two becomes seven. That means minus seven x. Seven minus six become one. One minus five become minus four. So this is our answers. So this is our answers. So this one. Mm -hmm. 
x cube plus 6x squared minus 7x minus 4 is your answers. Okay. So okay, again, we will do the same method, same questions in this, uh, another method. Then you will learn if if, if, you are, if if this method is very easy, you can use this method. If this method is very hard, then you can also follow this method also. Anyone is right. Okay. Any method is right. So minus 9. We don't have any x cube, so I will give it this one. Then we have minus 9x. So I will give it again. Okay. Add the side. Then I have plus 10, so I will write below this 10x cubes. Then minus 6 with the numbers. <coughs> then again, what should I do? 2x squared, so I will write below this one, 2x squared plus 2x squared. Then minus 3x squared, so I will write this one below this, squares and squares all together. Then minus 5, so I will erase this one. So now, x cubed will remain same. 10 minus 1 become 9, 9 minus 3 become 6, so this will become plus 6. 6 plus, uh, 7 minus 6 become 1, 1 minus 5, 1 minus 5 become minus 4. Okay. 9 minus 2 becomes 7. 7 that is minus 7. So I can erase this one according to power. So my answer will become 3x plus 6x squared. Then this one will re re remain in front. Then minus 4 will go back side. So this is your answers. So this is your answers. So our next question. Okay. So we will do the same method again. First, that is original method. 6m squared n plus 3n n minus 2n squares plus n squares minus mn minus m square n okay then plus mn minus 3n squares minus 4m square n okay so what's what's the reason so we will first arrange the 6m square n any more number is here where m square and n yes we have one more number that is minus n square n anymore yes minus 4m square n anymore no more okay so this is our m squares all are arranged we have already learned uh we have already arranged that one next we will go with 3mn that is plus 3m n so plus 3mn anymore yes minus 3mn anymore yes plus 2 and uh, plus mn so this one this one and this one i have already arranged Next we have minus 2n squares, 2n squares plus n squares minus 3n squares. So this one, this one, this one, we have already arranged. So any more? No more. So okay, we have already arranged according to their light term. So 6 minus 1 become 5, 5 minus 4 become 1. So that will become m square n. Then 3 minus 1 become 1 or 2, 2 plus 1 become Again, 3, that means become 3mn. Then 2 minus 1 become 1. Minus 1, minus 1, minus 3 become minus 4n squared. So, what is our answers? This is for our answers, okay? Okay, so we are doing the column method. That means what? 6mn, m squared n, plus 3mn minus 2n i will erase this one okay so where is m is squared there that is m is squared so i will write this one m m is squared n that means what minus 1 m is squared n that is what you see then we have minus mn so we will write mn here then we will write n is squared here that is plus n is squared nothing is there means it is plus okay next the first one is mn so i will write below this plus mn then minus 3 n squared, that means here is minus 3 n squared. Then minus 4 m squared, that means minus 4 m squared. This is our, our another, another method. So 6 minus 1 become 5. 5 minus 4 become 1. That means our answer, if I complete this one, this will become 1 mn. Okay, 1 mn. Then 3 minus 2 become, or 3 minus 1 become 1. Or 2, 2 minus 1, 2 plus 1 become 3. That means what? 3mn or you can also do this one you can also cancel directly here so 2 minus 1 become minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 become minus 4 
and a square. So this is our answers. Okay. So in this way, you try to solve all the questions and you try to submit it in the schools. Okay. Uh, thank you.